You can find new construction options throughout the Raleigh-Durham area, but one area in particular is booming. New Hill, North Carolina is an unincorporated community in southwestern Wake County. It is also home to massive growth and tons of new construction opportunities. If you want a new construction home in top-ranked schools, then New Hill is definitely a place to give a serious look. I'm going to break down what you need to know about New Hill, what communities you can find there, and what new construction opportunities are on the horizon. Now, let's go. I'm Keith O'Hare and I'm a realtor who helps buyers and sellers in the Raleigh-Durham market. And that includes New Hill, North Carolina. In fact, New Hill might be one of my specialties because I've helped so many buyers build new construction homes or buy recently new new construction homes in New Hill, North Carolina. Where is New Hill? The first thing you need to know is that if you say you live in New Hill, don't be surprised if even people in the Raleigh-Durham area don't even know what that means. Since New Hill is unincorporated, it really doesn't feel like it's on the map. New Hill is located southwest of Apex and northwest of Holly Springs. If you live in New Hill, it may be easier to say you live in Apex or Holly Springs so people actually know what you're talking about. Now, your mailing address will say New Hill, technically, so you do live in New Hill, but just know it's growing and getting on the map. Why are people moving to New Hill? The two main reasons people are moving to New Hill are for the new construction housing options and for the schools. There are not a ton of new construction housing developments in Cary, and there are very limited options in Apex. New Hill is the next area beyond Cary and Apex that really hasn't been developed. New Hill is pretty much all new construction or some new construction communities that are first starting to see their first resale opportunities after just being built just a few years ago. I'm going to tell you about some of those new construction options you will have in New Hill, but first let me tell you about the schools. Residents of New Hill get to enjoy some of the best public schools in Wake County and some of the newest ones too. These include Apex Friendship Elementary, Friendship Middle and Friendship High Schools, as well as the brand new Woods Creek Elementary School that is slated to open soon. A brand new home and a potentially brand new school or newer school that is highly rated in those coveted Wake County schools makes New Hill an extremely attractive option and a great place to consider if you are wanting to move to the Raleigh-Durham area. Before we move on to some of those new construction options, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so I know to make more content like this and it helps the YouTube algorithm know that you're enjoying this content. New Hill is the hotspot right now for new construction developments. I'm going to give you a breakdown of neighborhoods that you should consider. I have helped buyers find a home in almost every one of these communities, so I can truly speak to the pros and cons of these neighborhoods. Jordan Point is a massive master plan community with over 1,200 homes. The neighborhood amenities include pool, tennis, and sidewalks large enough to fit a golf cart. This community was built by Ryan Homes, Cole Brothers, and several local custom builders. Most of Jordan Point has been built out at this point, but there are still a few opportunities left mostly in that custom local home builder section. So the price point there will typically be at at least a million or more. Since development on Jordan Point started several years ago, you are now seeing a lot of resale opportunities in this neighborhood. If you want a newer home, but are okay with it not being brand new, then Jordan Point would be an absolutely great option for you to consider. Olive Ridge is a community still under development, so you will find new construction opportunities where you can build that new construction home in this community. Olive Ridge is being built by David Weekly and McNeil Burbank. I just had buyers build from the ground up on the David Weekly side of Olive Ridge, and they had a fantastic experience here. They got to pick out everything from their lot, the floor plan, the structural options, and their design studio selection. So it was truly a custom home based on what they wanted. Olive Ridge will also have a community pool, which is a great amenity. Most of the homes in this neighborhood will fall between the $600,000 and $900,000 price range with maybe a little bit of variance on either side. Please make note that that final price could vary a lot in this community because it really depends on your lot, which structural options or enhancements you're selecting, your design studio, if you really broke the bank at that design studio and more. So you will see a bit of a wider range in this neighborhood just because you do have more options. The next neighborhood is Friendship Station. While technically this neighborhood is in Apex, it is just right next to New Hill. So I'm gonna include it in today's video since we're really talking about new construction homes and really Apex and New Hill share that border and most people think of New Hill as Apex anyway, so why not? This is one of the largest developments in the area and it's really broken into two different sections called Friendship Station and Retreat at Friendship Station. This huge master plan community will have several different phases of development and amenities will include two neighborhood pools. There are lots of opportunities to buy in this neighborhood and that will likely be the case for the foreseeable future because there are so many different phases to this neighborhood and it's still continuing on in development. One thing to note about this community is that the builder, which is my homes is building all spec homes. So that means the lot has been chosen, the floor plan has been chosen, the structural options have been chosen, and the design studio options have been chosen. So really, you know, you're not picking out and customizing the home to your liking. 
Now, don't get me wrong, a lot of the buyers I have actually like this because it takes the, the stress of having to pick out all your options and the information overload of trying to pick out what color cabinet, what, you know, do you want the, those soft closed drawers? It takes that out of the equation. So it makes the buying process much simpler, but you're not customizing it. So just make note if that's important to you and you really want to have your own customized experience, this neighborhood probably isn't the right for, fit for you, but if it's more just you want a nice home with nice finishes and want it to be new construction, then Friendship Station and Retreat at Friendship Station should definitely be high on your list. Prices at Friendship Station and Retreat at Friendship Station start at $650,000 for single family homes. So just be prepared that that's the starting price and then it will likely increase from there. The neighborhoods I just mentioned, Jordan Point, Olive Ridge and Retreat at Friendship Station and Friendship Station all have new construction opportunities still available where you can actually build your home. Now, the neighborhoods I'm about to mention now are already completed or everything's been picked out, so all there are no more lots, but they are still worth mentioning because, again, I think one of the appeals of New Hill is that it doesn't have to be the brand new home, but you could still get a newer home. So you don't have to be worried about a dated home that might have foundation issues, that might have roof issues, that might have old plumbing. So you don't have the stress of that, but you still get a newer home, even if it's not brand new. New, So it's worth mentioning these neighborhoods. Some of those New Hill neighborhoods that fit the bill for what I just described include Belterra, which was built by KB Home, Jordan Oaks, which was built by Taylor Morrison, Woodbury, which was built by Pulte, and Jordan Manors, which was built by Meritage. If you haven't gotten information overload yet on all the new and newer construction options, I have even more to tell you. That's future development. So there are communities that are not for sale yet that haven't, you know, maybe just started breaking ground, but there are not homes for sale yet. So I wanna tell you about a couple new developments that are on the horizon, some future development. One community slated for development is called Utley Farms. This is being built by KB Home and will consist of 118 single family homes. And another is called Gracewood, which will be developed by a local entity that goes by the name of Community Properties Inc. This development will be pretty large with 448 single family homes planned. Stay tuned for more information on these communities and I'll be happy to share with you as I learn more. What are the downsides to living in New Hill? I think the biggest con for living in New Hill right now is the lack of development outside of housing. The nearest shopping plazas for residents in New Hill are in Apex or in Holly Springs. That's even for basic shopping like a grocery store. The closest grocery store is about a 10 to 15 minute drive depending on where you live in New Hill. I've joked that I wish I was a grocery store developer because whoever is the first to build out there will make bank and have a monopoly in all those new construction communities. So if you're a grocery store developer and listening to this, you know, find your speak, please help me out. I'm, this is my idea and I'm selling it to you for free. While the lack of shopping and amenities is a problem in New Hill right now, I do believe that will change over time. So New Hill is just growing and growing and growing while the shopping and grocery stores and other development hasn't occurred yet. With all that housing, usually shopping and other things will follow. So don't get discouraged if it's not there yet. It likely will come in the future to New Hill. Another con for some people is what else is located in New Hill. That is the Sharon Harris nuclear power plant. Some neighborhoods do have a clear view of the power plant given the cooling tower stands at 523 feet tall. The power plant is owned and operated by Duke Energy and is governed by strict regulations from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission and has had no major issues to date. It is important you are at least aware there's a nuclear power plant nearby. Now, it might not be an issue for you and because New Hill is growing so fast and they're building so many new construction communities here, clearly most people do not have an issue with it. But if this is something important to you and you're just not comfortable, which occasionally I do come across that with some buyers, then New Hill and maybe some of the surrounding areas of that parts of Holly Springs or even parts of really Southern Apex might just not be the right fit for you. However, most of the time it's not an issue, but I at least wanna make sure you are making an informed decision. New Hill is the booming hotspot if you want a new construction home paired with those coveted high-ranked Wake County schools. It's totally fine and even encouraged to go look at some of those new construction websites. Check out the builders, check out the floor plans, see if you like any of them. But when it comes time to buying, make sure you are represented. Hopefully myself, can help you. You know, I have a lot of experience in New Hill, but make sure you have an agent representing your interests. Now, remember, ultimately the builder will have an agent, but those builder reps, ultimately they represent the builder and have the builder's interests at mind. So you want to make sure you have independent representation and that you have somebody helping you through the build process. You know, I've come across issues with pre-drywall inspections, regular inspections, delays, certificates of occupancy issues. You've 
it's run the gamut and having that independent representation has been so critical for my buyers and they never regret it. So make sure if you're considering a new construction home that you have representation and I would love to help you out. If you're looking anywhere in New Hill or anywhere really in the Raleigh-Durham area, I would love to help you out. You can reach me at info at or the number on your screen. I'll see you next time.